Hello and welcome back. In this one, we'll try to hopefully wrap up the preview, alright? So, let's first deal with the total issue. So, go down and fixing that should be simple. Just add plus and we are going to add the purchases total. So, purchases total like that. Control S to save. Let's run this and hopefully it works. One, two, three, four, hit enter. And run again. All right. Two, three, four, five, hit enter. All right. So that is working. Now let's update the total. Okay. So again, that should be pretty simple. Let's go back up here and simply say self dot p total. You know what? Let's just call it total and initialize it to zero, zero, control S. Let's go down and where is it where we update our products right here. All right. So before all of this up here, we are simply going to say self dot total and set this to plus equal to the price of that product. All right. So for now we are using P price. So we'll just say P price like that. It's done. Now we can go here and simply say plus, and this is going to be plus this one. All right. So it's going to be the string of self to total control us to save. Let's run it. And one, two, three, four, hit enter. And it says ST is not defined. String, control S. Let's run it again. One, two, three, four, hit enter. And let's try it again. And now it's working. All right. So let's try it with a different product. And sure enough, everything works great. So that is done. The next thing is to update these. All right. So let's go back again. This should be pretty simple. All we have to do is go back here and get the first one. This, yeah, this is our target. So the ID is current product. So copy this. Go back to your pay, to your pie file. Sorry. And we want to update this up here. All right, even down here works so self dot ids dot that id dot text is equal to the product name so p name simple enough second thing and it's current price copy this go back to your pi file down here self dot ids dot and we call it current price dot text is equal to the string of this p price. So p price control s to save. Now finally, let's create that footer. Okay, so the footer is at the bottom of everything. All right, so let's go down here, and it shouldn't be inside any box layout. So I think this should be good. So just say box layout like that. Give it an ID of footer and the text. Oops, we want to create a label, sorry. And the text of this label is whatever you want. Here I am going to just go with maintained by Samuel works control us to save this and now let's take care of the sizing of the box and we want to do that right here so size hint y none finally the height and the height as always 30 control us to save this let's change the background of this box layout converse to before and color 
the RGBA format and we want the teal color so 0 0.06, 0 0.47, 0.47 and 1. Control S to save rectangle. And the position is self to position. The size is again self to size. Control S to save. Run this. And now we have that. All right. So everything is great. One, two, three, four. Hit enter. And hit enter. And this is being updated to product one and the price. Let's change this and see if product two works. All right. Everything checks out. We are officially done with this screen. The next one is going to be the administrator screen. We are going to be installing a few modules and a few programs. So, hope to catch you then. As always, thanks for the support. Thanks for the subscriptions. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe already.